the all the honors, the praises, and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Mahashav, Yahweh Shai, Mahasham Mahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the whole elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we are living in the last days of the last days. So Lord winning this will be edifying and we're going to flow with the Spirit and see what we can get. You already know when we come out here, you already know the actors, you know, the fair is already, you know, everything's in that. But just focus on this truth, right? We already know that. We already know what time it is. Right? When we come out here, the actors come out. Remember these people have to spill a Satan upon them. Remember these people are part of cults. Someone got upset, right? Someone got upset with me and guess what they went and done? They went and got the occultists upon me. That's what it is, but because they're bitch made niggas, right? But that's not going to stop the word. Let's go to 2 Ezra 15. They're not going to stop the word. 2 Ezra 15. Behold, speak though in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So we're speaking these words of prophecy that are being put in our mouths, right? Which were put in thy mouth, said the Lord, Jehovah Shai, and cause them to be written in paper. So these are the words that are written in this paper, right? For they are faithful and true. So these words are faithful and true. These words ain't going to fail you. And fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So we're not supposed to fear their imaginations. We're not supposed to fear what they think, right? Their silly imaginations, their witchcraft, their sorceries, their spells. We're not supposed to fear them, right? Because they're wicked. And it says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Because you have many people, right? They come up with many plots and schemes how they could try to get us off these streets and stop teaching. Scripture says, fear them not, right? And it says, don't fear, look, don't fear the occult members. Why are you fearing the occult members? Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That speak against thee. So we're going to have many that speak against what we're doing. We're going to have many that get offended, right? And they're going to call the occult on you to follow you around. But bro, we don't give a shit. Yeah, someone got upset. You had a bitch made nigga that got upset and he went and called his occult members on one person because he got offended at the word. But that ain't gonna stop the word. No amount of witchcraft is gonna stop the word. No amount. No amount of sorcery is gonna stop the word. Right? Because Yahweh says true and let every man be a liar. Okay? And it says, Baba Kishak, for all the unfaithful shall die. In their unfaithfulness. So the scriptures already tell you. Oh yeah. Those that want to be unfaithful, guess what? They're gonna die in their unfaithfulness. Right? Same way. For us now, what do we have to do? We just have to remain faithful. That's all we have to do. Remain faithful, play your cards right, and the Lord's gonna protect you. Right? Don't worry about the evil these people are doing. Because as long as you're doing what's right according to your Shai. These people, they're going to get judged for the wickedness they're doing. I've, I've already mentioned it. The trafficking, right? All that. I've already mentioned that. They're going to get judged for what they're doing. You stay out of the way. You don't get involved in them. Let them do their wickedness. When I'm saying let them, I'm not telling them to do evil. But I'm talking about in the terms of if they're not repenting. And that's another thing I've learned. We can't say, look, we can't save anyone. It's Yahweh Shai that's going to do it. Right? Because we might come out here and people may think, well, well, no one's listening. We're only out here for the elect. We're not out here for everyone. Right? We're not out here for everyone. Go to Matthew's Bible Kishah. I pray Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai removes these wicked occultists, man. Right? 
like I said, someone paid an occultist to watch you. Right? This is Matthew 13. And jump straight to verse 10. And his disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. That's why Yahushua spoke in parables. Because it was a mystery. It's not for everyone. Right? A mystery is a secret. That's why he spoke in parables. Okay? But it's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. It's not given to everyone. Right? It says it's given unto you to know their mysteries. Right? I and mean, that's a blessing. That's why we can't take this thing lightly. It's given unto you. It's not given unto everyone. That's a certain number. That's a certain elect. Bro, that's a blessing, man. To know that you've been given knowledge and wisdom that not everyone can receive. This is why we have to be humble as well. Remain humble within this truth. You know, at all times. You know, humble, contrite. Because the Lord, you have he could have gave this truth to anyone. But he deemed you, he deemed you worthy. He deemed you worthy to give you this truth. Hey bro, that's a blessing, bro. Every day you wake, every day you wake up, you gotta pray as well. Thank you, Yahweh for giving me another day to be able to minister and for keeping me in my right mind. Because really, by the things that are going on, we should have been turned mad from what these people have been doing a long time ago. So it's a blessing, man, that we're able to receive this knowledge in full, in meekness. Okay. Matthew 13. And don't, don't really focus on what these people are doing to you. They're going to be punished in time. So um, King David says he never saw the righteous forsaken. The righteous were never, ever, ever, ever forsaken. Never. Okay. Matthew 13 and 10. 12. For whosoever have, to him shall be given, which is what is understanding. You be given more. And shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even which he have. So the little that he doesn't have will be taken away. Okay? And it says Baba Kishra. From shall be taken away from him. Therefore I speak unto them in parables. Parables is dark sayings. So the Lord what speaking to the people in dark sayings. Parables is basically a riddle. In a metaphoric sense explaining something. Right? And it says, Baba Kusha, I speak to them in parables, because they sing, seeing not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. So a lot of our people, they're, they're dumb, they're deaf, they can't receive this truth, they're being blinded, right? They got them spiritual blindness upon them, right? So only a remnant are going to receive this word, right? A remnant, which are the elect, okay? All right. How you doing? Well, come and listen. Come and listen. Right? And it says, For whosoever hath shall be given to him, and shall have more abundance. This is speaking about his knowledge. Right? And it says, Therefore I speak to them in parables, dark sayings, because they seeing, see not. So most of the people that will pass, they see what they see not. And they hear, you got the blue. But they hear not. Yeah. They don't see me or hear. So it goes in one ear and it goes right out the other. So that's beautiful that you walk past and you gave me a little greetings because only a few are going to receive this. I will see. And Lord willing, you're one of those few that will receive this word. You know? And it says, and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and be healed. So if the people could understand, they would be healed. So the only the people that are going to understand and have faith, mm -hmm. they're the only ones that are going to be healed in this time. Mm -hmm. The rest of the people, they're going to be left blinded and to that destruction. Mm -hmm. And the destruction is World War Three, which is going to be played out. Russia, Ukraine, Iran. Um, who else? Who else? All, yeah, all the nations. We're sitting people. People are sitting uh, creature. So we're going to be the destruction of ourselves. Oh, yeah. Well, we man are, is very destructive. Yeah, we yeah. have our own destruction. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But that's why the only way to keep you from that destruction is 
that's it, yeah. Reading the Bible, which yeah. I'm not reading the Quran, it's the Holy Bible. Yeah, yeah. Right? And that's the way you stay firm. Oh, wow. Yeah, but, but man-made Bible. Exactly. Man-made Bible. Exactly. Okay. Man -made exactly that. Man -made so, Bible. basically, what I'm here is to do is preach this gospel, and Lord willing, a few will wake up mm -hmm. and receive this word. Yeah. You look Italian. Well, I'm, that as I'm not Italian. I'm not Italian. But my son is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You've got to take what your heart says. Like that's spiritual. Yeah. Because yeah. man made Bible. So where's your phone? Um, he's Irish. Nah. He's Irish. He's passed away now. Yeah. But um, yeah, he's very dark hair. And, yeah. yeah. Well, you know the Irish. Yeah, you know the Irish. They would call the what the so-called blacks of Europe. Yes. Yeah. No what? No dogs. No blacks. No, no Irish. Yeah, yeah. You're you're Israel. Yeah, wow. yeah. So the whole thing is you just repent from whatever have, sins you have. Have you noticed? I've noticed the red and blue in people's eyes these days, uh -huh. and uh, I see the blue in yours. Blue? It's not blue in colour. It's just yeah. like it's like a reflection in. Wow. Yeah. Well, my eyes are naturally brown, but you see blue. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because we all have different aura fields as yeah. well. Different people see different aura fields. The light in your face. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. The light in the face. 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 So what, you got a husband? Um, no, I don't no. actually, no. But, uh, yeah. Really? It was lovely to meet you. I'm Amy, by the way. Amy? Yeah. Right, that's a nice name. Yeah. My name's Karab. Karab. Q-A-R-A-B. Okay. Right? So, I don't know, what, what's your belief system? Are the most Irish or what? Catholics, right? Mm, I'm not actually Catholic. Um, I got baptised um, Pentecostal. I got baptised about six months ago. Mm. Um, yeah, it was just, I needed to get baptised because I thought with getting christened, I was Christian Church of England. Yeah. But um, that's not actually, a that was a baptism, but yeah. it was not. Yeah, it, yeah so, and yeah. If my friend uh, introduced me to Pentecostal and then I got baptised about six months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was, I believe churches would be in any way, it's not really, I don't, it, you know what I'm saying, the Bible's the Bible. Oh, yes. Get, yeah, so from beginning to end, what yeah. churches we're in. Because, you know, a lot of people tell me, I go to church, you know, I don't mm -hmm. want to go to no, church. No, I don't need, yeah. When I was younger, I was forced to go to church. I didn't I want to. to, to there you go. But when I grew up, I found that all the corruption within yes, the churches. Yes, exactly. And you and see that's, it. I don't want to go in no. there. And, right and, no, and that's so. what I think kills a lot of people. Why, why mm. should we Sometimes in the church, you can kind of like, mm. yeah, it go a little bit off path. Yeah. 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 Right. But the true baptism is of the word. Yeah. So if you really want to be baptized, all you need to do is just get a King James Version. I've got that. You've got that? Yeah. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> and baptize yourself with um, the word. Yeah. I ain't gonna leave you because I know you probably need to go somewhere. I, I actually do, but are you here a lot? Yeah, I've been here for about, I don't know, the next hour. Yeah? Hour yeah. and a half, so if you want to come back around and. Learn. And if I don't see you today, I'll come and see you, I'll see you again. Oh, right, that'd be beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. All right then. Uh, I thank you for listening. All right, and thank you know, for spreading the word. Yeah. That's oh, it. yeah, another thing as well. I want to give you the name. His name ain't Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. Yahawashai. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you say that name. Okay. Yahawashai. So, Norman, are you come back around? Yeah. You know? And we break bread. And maybe I can teach you a little something on the side. Okay, yeah? I'm interested. Alright, right, that's good. That's good. Alright. Alright, cool. right, thanks for stopping by. Alright, Amy. All right. So, this is brilliant, see? We have those that are what, being bid to the marriage and that are learning this word and that are willing to what, humble themselves in the sight of Yahabai Shem Yahabashai and receive this truth, right? With all fullness, right? That's a beautiful thing. So I always say there is people that are meek and humble that are willing to learn this word and really get this, right? And that's a blessing, okay? But you're gonna have masons, you're gonna have warlocks that are gonna try to deter what we're doing, right? But that's a beautiful thing, right? That is a beautiful thing. Okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Bear just a minute. Um, so let's go to Psalms, Baba Kishar. Psalms 109. And jump straight to verse 39. Again, they are minished and brought low through oppression and affliction and sorrow and poor with contempt upon princes. And cause of them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet sitteth the poor and high from affliction and make of his families like a flock. So the poor, they are set on high. 
The righteous shall see it and rejoice. A new iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahabashai. So let me read that again because I was interrupted by all that noise. Again, they are minished and brought low through oppression and affliction and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes and causeth them to wander in the wilderness. There is no way. So the Lord judges the kings of this earth. He setteth the poor on high from affliction and maketh him families like a flock. So the Lord could have it where you're poor and he gets you in a situation where he sets you among the right people. The righteous shall see it and rejoice and all the iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the love and kindness of the Lord. Key thing, whosoever is wise shall understand these things. Right? So Lord is ultimately going to save his elect. Now let's go to Samuel's 2 and 6. Right? Before we go to Samuel's 2 and 6, go to Job. Come on now. This is Job 5. Right? Check this out, check this out. This is Job 5 and 12. I've got to get them warfare scriptures as well. And it says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So you know all the devices that are being devised against us, they're being upset. Right? Because you've got a lot of crafty people out here that are part of cults. They're part of the occult. <laughs> So that their hands could not perform their enterprise. So the Lord is upsetting their enterprise and the craftiness of the wicked. And it says that their hands could not perform their enterprise. What's their enterprise? Their business venture. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. So the wise are being taken. And all that crafty business they're doing, the Lord sees them doing it. Because the Lord put it in their mind to be crafty. And the council of the throne is carried headlong. So all these council that they're having, all these secret meetings, all these secret phone calls, these secret messages, that's all coming to naught, right? And it says, and they meet with darkness in the daytime. It says darkness in the daytime. So when it says they meet with darkness in the daytime, that's wickedness, right? That's wickedness, that's that darkness that they're meeting with in the daytime. Right? They meet with darkness in the daytime. Daytime. This is secret meetings, secret councils. Right? The warlocks, the witches, the elites. Right? Plans how they can further enslave the masses. And it says, and grow up in a noonday as in the night. So they grow up in a noonday just like night. Right? They don't, bro, they don't know if they're coming or going. They're broke. They're, they're desperate. Because the devil knows he has a short time. This is why all these things are going on. The devil's looking for souls. That's why we have to stay grounded within this truth. Grounded. Okay? They meet with darkness in the daytime. So, as I'm doing this lesson, it's daytime, right? You have people having secret meetings. And grow up in the noonday as in the night. But, save, but he saved the poor. Right? From the sword and from their mouth. Right? So... When we talk about occultic practices and someone that basically they set the bro, someone set the occult on you, these occultists, bro, there's limitations. Even on the left hand side, you shouldn't be scared of them. And the occultists, when you piss off an occultist, they what? Send the occult members for you. But what can they do? Yeah, they're occultists, yeah, they have um, connections with the government, but so what? Right? Because Yahweh Shah, he's the ultimate what high power. So it doesn't really matter what they say, what they do, it doesn't matter. Because every single day, what are we doing? You see, we're victorious in Yahweh's shrine. So you can send your cult members, but they're just going to have to see the glory with us from day to day. <laughs> okay. And it says, But he saved the poor from the sword and from their mouth, from the hand of the mighty. So we will be saved from the hand of the mighty. Right? And from the mouth of the, of, of the wicked. Right? So the poor have hope. We have hope. Right? And iniquity stopping from her mouth. 
Okay? Behold, happy is the man. Happy. Whom the heavenly father therefore corrected. Therefore despise not the chastening of the almighty. Don't despise that chastening. Happy is the man that the heavenly father corrected. So if you're being corrected, you need to take that with, you know, joy and honor. Because not everyone's being corrected. Look at the people out here. Most of them are not being corrected. So they're left to their own devices to do what they want to do. All right? Now we get corrected in measure. Now I'm going to go to Samuel's 1 and... So it's like a Samuel's... First Samuel's 2 and 6 is what? Well. Samuel's 2 and 6. The Lord shall shall kill it for make it for life. So it's the Lord that does these things. You have people dying. Who do you think's doing it? It's Yahweh Shai that's, that's doing it. He's killing people. Right? And make it alive. Right? And it says Baba shot. And he bringeth down to the grave. Okay? <laughs> and bring it up. Right? So when someone's in the grave, it's him that does that. And he can bring you up from the grave. The Lord shall, shall make you poor. So when you're poor, it's Yahweh Shai that does that. And make you rich. So the Lord makes poor and he can make you rich overnight. Right? He bringeth low and bringeth up, lifteth up. So everything's according to Yahweh Shai and his power. It's him that lifts people up. And it's him that puts people down. It's all according to his power. And it says... He raised up the poor out of the dust. So if you're in a low state, the Lord's able to lift you up out of that dust, man. Right? Out of a low state. And lift up the beggar. So like you Right? This, I knew this incense would go out. Right? Bear just a minute. And burn up this incense. So we lift up the beggar as well. Right? Bear just a minute. And yes, he lifted up the beggar from the dunghill, from that lower state. So who can we depend on? We can depend on Yahweh Shai. That's who we can depend on. Because he lifts up, he lifts us up from that lower state. Okay. I think some of them he got licked down. You see, uh, this judgment's getting issued out here as well. Right? And it says, where was that? Bear me just a minute. And to set them among princes, so we could also be set among princes. It's the Lord Jehovah Shai that does that, right? And to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and He has set the world upon them. Now let's jump to verse nine, right? He will keep key thing. He will keep the feet of His saints, right? And the wicked shall be silent in darkness. And you, within these cities, you see a lot of undercover wickedness going on. You see a lot of it. Undercover treachery, wickedness going on within this kingdom. Right? So the wicked, they're going to be silent. Okay? In darkness. Key thing. In darkness. They're going to be left in that ignorant state. Right? Thus saith the Lord. And it says... For by strip shall no man prevail. No man's going to prevail by any strip. No military might, nothing. Verse 10. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. All the adversaries of the house are going to be broken to pieces. All of them. Every single one of them. And out of heaven shall be thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. So the Lord is actually coming back to judge this earth. The ends of the earth. Right? And he shall give strength unto his king. Right? All this black magic they're doing, all this black magic they're doing, it's not working. You would think over time, well, we've tried everything, uh, maybe it's not working. These people don't learn. They just don't learn. I'm just waiting until them judgments ready happen. It's going to be more judgments. I say there's going to be more judgments happening in this particular town as well. You're going to see it. Right? And it says, he shall give strength unto his king. Who's the king? Yehavashai. And exhort the horn of his anointing, which is what? David. And Elkanah went to Ramah to his house and the charge of the minister before the Lord. So that's what the Lord's going to do. Raise up his men. Raise up the house of the what? The house of David. Alright? So we went to that. Right, we're just flying with the spirit. 
Yarosh is coming back with wrath. Okay. Now, see what else we can find. Babu Kishon. Now let's go to Job 20. And Job straight to verse 5. The triumph of the wicked is short. So the wicked, the reason why they're panicking, because their type of triumphing is very short. Right? And therefore, they need the people controlled, they need the people monitored. Alright? And the jerk, the hypocrite, but for a moment. So the time of the wicked is short, and the jerk, these hypocrites, is just for a little, little moment. Little moment. And it says, Though His Excellency, yeah, you're still useless. Though His Excellency mount up to the heavens, and His head reach unto the clouds, yet He shall perish forever like his own dung. So this man he has excellency, but what? It's going to perish forever. Like his own dung. Alright? And it says, Baba Kisha, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream. So he saw he's going to be a thing of the past. This man's causing complete havoc upon earth. This man, he's going to be a thing of the, he's going to be a distant memory. Alright? And it says, Baba Kisha, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? So that's what these other nations are going to say. Where, where's that man? Where's that wicked man that was ruling the earth? Right? Yeah, these people disrespect us, but that's all right. Right? Because that's, that's what they think of Yahweh Shai. That's, that's what they think of Yahweh Shai. See? There's spirits in people leading them to do what they do. The spirit led him to do that. Right? Because he's a robot, he's a demonic robot. And it says, Baba Kisha, check this out. And they shall perish forever like their own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream. So this man, Esau, he's going to be like a distant memory. He's going to fly away as a dream. And it says, And shall not be found. Yet he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. So Esau, once he's done, he's going to be chased away. He's going to be no more. But he's going to be in the kingdom. Well, he's going to be building up the kingdom. He's going to be in slavery for a thousand years. All the other nations are still going to be here. But Esau's going to be done away with. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, they which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall perish. The eye which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place anymore behold him. Right? So this kingdom, this place, it ain't going to behold him anymore. Right? Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And this is what we're waiting for. This is what I'm waiting for. Right? You're still useless. Right? These are cult members. These are cult members going to follow you around. I don't, well, I don't believe in following the occult. I believe in following Yahweh Shai. Right? Because that's not going to get you saved. You following the occult, that's not going to get you saved. Right? That's going to get you further into destruction. Because these people have made ungodly ties, man. Ungodly ties. Ungodly covenants. With the enemy. And you know, anything that Satan gives you, is, it's not ready for free. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha. But his children shall seek to please the poor. This is why you have these philanthropists. Oh, I do charity work. I do this. His children shall seek to please the poor. Right? And his hand shall restore... Rare goods. So that's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to end up restoring all them goods they stole. I mean, they're going to have to restore them. Alright? And it says his bones are full of the sin of his youth. Go ahead, back to Cain. We shall lie down with him in the dust. No wickedness be sweet in his mouth. It's always in this man's mouth. Sweet in his mouth. Alright? And it says, Baba Kisha, though we hide it under his tongue. So this wickedness is always, it's always under his tongue. It's always there. That's why scripts never trust your enemy. These are the elites. That wickedness is always under their tongue, constantly. And it says, though he spare it not. So he, don't, he never spares that wickedness. It's always there. Right? But keep it still within his mouth. So that wickedness is always there. Okay. Yet his meat is in his bowels, it is turned. It is the gall of ass within him. You know what gall is of ass? Poison. So this man, when he speaks something, 
He will give you little bits of the truth, little bits, but most of it is lies. Because the devil knows bits of truth, but he feeds you lies. Okay? That's what the devil feeds you. Deception. Deceit. And it says, he have swallowed down riches. So this man is swallowing nothing that down but riches. Okay? And shall vomit them up again. So as all these riches he sw swallowed up, he's going to vomit them up. Right? The master shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of asps, right, which is snakes. The viper's tongue shall slay him, right? So all that that he gained, he's going to have to give that up. All them riches, all that gold, all that frankincense, all that oil, right? All these things he's going to have to give it up sooner than later, okay? He shall not see the rivers or the floods, right? Or the brooks of honey and butter. He ain't going to be able to experience that. He ain't going to experience that. You've got these people recording us on their phones as well. Well, we don't give a shit. We don't care. We don't want to be a part of your cult. We don't want to be a part of your demonic occult. We want to serve Yahweh Shai. These people are so persistent on being demons. And it says, Baba Kashat. That which he labored for, he shall not restore. So he's not going to be able to restore what he labored for. He's going to lose all of it. Okay? And, Baba Kisha, he shall not swallow it down. So the elites of this society, they're not going to be able to attain. This is what the New World Order is about, attaining what they, what they stole from the other nations. It's about attaining them. Right? That which he laboured for, he shall not restore. He ain't going to restore. Why? Because Yahweh is coming back to take all that. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, And he shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be. Right? And he shall not rejoice therein because he have oppressed and forsaken the poor. He's oppressing the poor. Oi, you know how mad that gets the Lord, Yahweh Shai? When you oppress the poor man. Right? For he oppresseth the poor, and because he hath taken away a house which he builded not. And that's what that's what they do. You see it going on. Right? If they want you out, they can they got enough money to really buy you out. Do all that, set up contractors, create smear campaigns, that happens. <clears throat> you have people that they're so smeared that they have to move particular house or flat or whatever. That happens. And the government are behind that. Right? Because you have oppressed and forsaken the poor, because you have violently taken away your house which he builded not. Violently. This is what these people do. And you're going to be happy with that. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. Right? This man's going to be in complete trouble on every side. He shall not save what he desired. So the elites are not going to be able to save what they desired. Which is what? But the riches within this world, they're not going to be able to save it. They're not going to be able to attain it forever. And it says, There shall no man, there shall none of his meat be left. The meat is his goods. None of us going to be left. It's all going to be gone. Right? Therefore shall no man look for his goods. Because the nations are going to feed to their own land. It tells us that we go to that Lord within in Jeremiah 50 and Revelations. Even in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, which is a difficult position, in the fullness of his sufficiency. He's going to be in straits, a difficult position, okay? And it says, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Every hand, not some, okay? When he's about to fill his belly, who? Esau, the elite, right? Which is indicative of their new world order. The heavenly father shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. So when this man thinks he's got it all under rule, everything worked out, that's when he's going to cast that wrath and fury upon him. Just when he thinks he's got his new world order underway. Okay? And it says, he shall reign with upon him while he's eating. Okay? He shall flee from the iron weapon. Okay? The iron weapon is what? The ICBMs. He's going to flee from them. 
Yeah, the glittering swords. He's coming back to the Vizgal, which is the ICBM missiles. Terrors are upon him. So terrors are upon him. Yeah, the elites. And America. Okay. All darkness shall be hidden in secret places. Okay. And it says, a fire not blown shall consume him. That fire not blown is their nuclear missiles. And it says, Baba Kisha, it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Ill with him. Right? See, uh, Satan has a jet off now. Satan's just doing his job. You know? But again, we win. We always win. See, Satan can't do nothing. Yeah, they, they send people, right? They send people your way. You saw that on the side. But they can't do nothing if you're in your house shy. They can only do what your house has to do. Right? Do not be scared. Say in these scriptures, do not be scared. Right? Yeah, bro. Someone, someone sent, bro. I'm just going by what I see. Someone sent the occultist to basically stalk, stalk me. Occultist. But you're losing because all that evil that you send my way, that gets sent right back to you in the name of your house shy. Yeah, these are occultists. Right? These are Satan worshippers, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. So the earth, the heaven, is going to reveal this man's iniquity, which it is. And the earth shall rise up against him. And we're seeing that as well. The increase of his heart shall depart, and his good shall flow. Away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion, portion is lot of a wicked man from the heavenly father, right? And the heritage appointed to him by the heavenly father. So, this is this man's lot which is appointed to him by the heavenly father, okay? Yeah, your, your black magic ain't working. <laughs> let's go, come on now. I love it, man. This word, it confounds people. So now let's go to Revelations 8, 18. Revelations 18. Your witchcraft ain't working. <laughs> All that witchcraft they're doing. But guess what? That gets sent right back to them. All that witchcraft they're doing, it gets sent right back to them. And it says, Revelations 18. And after these things I saw, another angel come down from heaven. Right? Having great power. So now we're going into what the destruction of America, which is known as Babylon. Okay? And having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Right? This is an angel, by the way. Okay? This is the demonic spirit of these people. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great. Great, it's fallen, it's fallen. So Babylon the Great is gonna fall, right? It's fallen, and Babylon is known as America, and it's gonna fall, okay? And it's become the habitation of devils. So America is gonna be a habitation, a dwelling place of spirits and unclean spirits. And this is when America's hit by them ICBM missiles via World War III, which we're warning you about, okay? And it's going to be a habitation of devils, okay? And foul, every old foul and unclean spirit, okay? And cage every unclean and hateful birds. So you're going to have hateful an unclean bird spreading in that land of America. Right? This is what we're here to warn you about. Get right before this happens. Right? Don't worry about the occult. Yeah, the, the, the occult they got their eyes on me. But so bloody what? You should be more concerned about Yahweh Shai and what he's going to do. Okay? So bear me just a minute. I quickly want to go to, you know, we go to Isaiah 13 after. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of our fornication. So all nations are drunk of that Babylon juice. Bear in just a minute. Jeremiah 50 as well. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Jeremiah 50. Oh, there's so much meat here. 
Hold up right there, hold up right there, hold up right there. Um, quickly go to Jeremiah 15 and 12. But thus saith the Lord Jehovah, right? Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assured drunken. We've drunken of that judgment, right? We've, dr we've drunken of that judgment, okay? We've drunk of that judgment. So Esau's going to drink of that judgment as well. Right? We had to suffer. So you're going to suffer. Right? We're going to suffer. Hold on. <laughs> the reason why I'm standing this way, because I've got this occultist right here trying to size me up. Bro, bro, it's occultists that are on my ass. I'm telling you. Right? Right? Look at the end of the road. Bam, just a minute. I'm getting everything on camera. Alright? I just looked to the left and this guy was just standing there straight with his hands in his pocket. Yeah, there's a lot of witchcraft going on. And that's why we have to be girded, man, in this truth. And protect it. Because if you don't have that hedge, bro, whew, you're, oh, it's open season for you. If you don't have that hedge. But luckily, we have that hedge. Luckily. Alright? And I love teaching this word. It's, it's an honour. And it's a blessing. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Woo! Come on, let's go. Come on. And it says, and, and the occult members, they're mad at me because I don't want to join in their little clique. That's good. Right? This is Romans 18 and 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication. This is speaking about the nations that have done deals with America. Right? So that's what they've done, okay? They've all drunken of that same wine, right? All of them are drunken of that wine, of America. And that wine is a philosophy, it's a democracy. But all these nations are partaking it. That's what they're drinking of. That wine, right? That's what they're drinking of, right? Which is the ideologies of democracy, LGBT, same-sex marriage, transgenderism, right? Right? Pedophilia. This is what these people uphold. This is what they uphold. And they want you to uphold that as well. Right? Oh, you, if, if, if um, I won't tell if you won't tell, that type of spirit, no. You're supposed to stand on the principles of the scriptures. Not the principles of oh, a Masonic Lodge. So these people, they're backwards. They are, bro, they're in no position to judge the, the elect because they're carnal. They're still doing wickedness, man. And if they're asking repenting, I'm here to let you know, yeah, you, that judgment's going to rain upon your head. For all nations are drunk of that wine. I'm looking for something as well. Go to Habakkuk. Hold on. I am ze I'm, ze I'm very zealous for the Lord Yahweh Shai. And sometimes that, that zealous can... There's a difference between being proud and humble. You could still be, you could be, you could be confident and humble. You could be proud and arrogant. Because a lot of men mistake pride for someone that's confident. Just because you're confident, it doesn't mean you're prideful. You have those that are arrogant and they're proud. See, there's a difference, right? There's such thing as humble confidence. And Yahushua wants his men to have confidence as well. That's what he wants. He doesn't want you to be all, all timid, scared, not knowing what to say. He wants you to be bold in your house shy. He doesn't want you to be timid. Okay? So I don't know what certain men are talking about because they don't have that faith. Right? The Lord delights him when you're humble but you're confident. Bear me just a minute. Um... I'm looking for something in Habakkuk as well, which I can't find. Oh, here it, Habakkuk. All right, this is Habakkuk 2. And jump straight to verse 4. Behold, his soul, right, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. This man's soul is not right, right? This man's soul, bro, you know that. Bro, I've told you about the trafficking. I've told you about the, pedoph the pedophilia rings. I've told you about that. This man's soul is not right. 
And you got people promoting that walking past you, promoting them. But under undercover. Right? But holy soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. This man, his soul is not right. His spirit ain't right. This man has a perverse spirit. This man has a perverse spirit. Right? And we know Satan's losing as well. Your witches are more like they're losing. The black magic they're doing, that's that's not working. Right? That just gets returned right back to the sender. That's all. And it says, but the just shall live by faith. So we just got to live by faith. That's all we have to do. Right? Live by faith. And that's what, that's what keeps us going. These people, they're not living by faith. They're living by the flesh. That's what they're living by. Yet also, he transgressive. So you've got Esau transgressing, right? By wine. Esau's transgressing by wine. You know what this, the philosophy, the ideologies within this kingdom, that's that wine he's transgressing with. And it says, Baba Kasha, he transgressive by wine. The wine is a philosophy, right? He is a proud man. See, he is a proud man. So you don't want to, you don't want to be like Esau. He is a proud man, okay? And keep if not at home, Salakia. And cannot be satisfied, he delight, keep if not at home, in everybody else's land. This man is in everybody else's land, telling them what to do, right? And he's a deaf and cannot be satisfied. This man can never be satisfied. Never, right? No matter what you do, this man can never be satisfied, right? What's that quote? You will be happy with nothing. He wants you to be happy with nothing. He doesn't want you, he doesn't want you to have anything. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, check this out. And cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap of unto him all people. So that's what he's doing. Gathering all nations and heap unto him all people. This is what he's doing. And this is through his legislations, okay? So we went to that, now let's go to Revelations, okay? This is Revelations 18. And go to verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of the Heavenly Father, of our fornications, nothing. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants, of the earth are much rich with the abundance of her delicacies. So America have a lot of delicacies. They've much rich. So how is them by what? The other nations, right? That's how they wax rich, through the abundance of the other nations, doing deals. That's how they became rich. Excuse me just a minute. That's how they make their money. Right? Trade. Import, import, export, right? And by robbing the third world nations. So we went to that Baba Kasha. See what else we can get. Verse 4. And I heard another voice, right? Saying, Come out of her, my people. So this is a warning for our people to come out of come out of America. Come out of Babylon. Come out of the ways of Babylon. What mentally? Because you're going to have people that leave America, but they're still going to get burnt up anyway, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, right? That you be not partakers of her sins. So we don't want to partake in the sins of America. We don't want to partake in the sins of America. So come out of her, how? Spiritually. That's how you come out of America, spiritually. By waking up to this truth, right? We don't want to be partakers of the sins of the occultists. We don't want to be partakers of that. Because we know if they don't repent, they're going to die in their sins. We don't want to be partakers with them. So you've got to come out of the way of America, Babylon, through the scriptures. Okay? That you receive not of our plagues. Because we don't want to receive these plagues of America. So the best way is what? taking heed to these scriptures so you don't receive them plagues that are going to be issued out on this world. And it says, for her sins have reached unto heaven. Why? Because the angels have marked it down. 
The angels are marking everything down. Every sin, everything that's going on. So we don't want to be partakers of that. Right? Them sins. Okay? We're actually trying to, we're trying to flee from sin. We're not trying to be partakers of sin. We're trying to flee from them. And it says, Baba Kishak, that you be not partakers of her sins and receive not of her plagues. So you don't want to receive the plagues of America. Right? Because if you do now, you won't get caught up in that judgment. Right? And we really don't care, bro. We don't care about what the world thinks. So oh, this person, bro, bro, we don't care. We're not trying to be justified by demons. We only care what your Shah thinks of us. Because if you care what, what the world thinks, you will not be able to teach the truth. Because we know this world is wicked anyway. So you shouldn't care about what the world thinks. The world are great, they're great actors. Only care about what your Shah thinks of you. Because at the end of the day, we're going to be judged by him. You're not going to be judged by these people that are walking around. You're going to be judged by your Shah. Right? And that's another way, that's another way of selling your soul. You caring about what the world thinks, that's another way of selling your soul. I only care about what Yahawashai thinks of you. Right? And it does, no, that doesn't mean you live careless. Reward her as she rewarded you, so America, America's going to be rewarded. And America's going to be rewarded greatly for her sins. Okay? And it says about Kashak. For her sins have reached unto heaven. Okay? And the most I have remembered her iniquities. Reward her, she rewarded you. Double unto her, double according to her work. In the cup she have filled to her double. So her milk is going to be rewarded with wrath, judgment. Okay? And it doesn't say America in the Bible, by the way, it says Babylon. How much have she glorified herself and lived deliciously? America's still living quite deliciously, right? And it says, you look at America, that's a massive land, okay? So much torment and sorrow, give her, so America's gonna be given that sorrow. America's gonna be given that torment, right? For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, right? And I am no widow, and shall see, no. Sorrow. So America thinks, well, you know, everything's all right. No, America's going to see sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning. All these things are going to happen. And in one day. That's why we want to be what? Ready. That's why we want to be what? Circumspect. That's why we want to be equipped with this word. Death and mourning and famine. And shall she be utterly burned with fire? For strong is the Lord Yahweh Shai, who judgeth her. So what? Uh, it's going to be Yahweh Shai that's judging America, right? Verse nine: And the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and right, fornication, live deliciously with her. Shall be well her, and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. So it's going to be a great what burning upon America. It's going to be a great judgment upon America. A great burning. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, standing afar off for the fear of our torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon. Babylon. The mighty city. For in one hour is their judgment come. So all this is going to happen in one hour. You've seen their movies, Terminator. You see what happens in the Terminator. Sarah O'Connor, right? She had her children in the playground, right? And next thing, what? That fire burnt up. She was burnt beyond what? <laughs> beyond bones. So these things are going to happen in real time, right? And you're not going to have these people walking around prideful, right? And so forth, okay? And it says, standing afar off for the fear of a torment, right? Saying, alas. Right? For therefore strong is the Lord that judges her. So Lord Yahshua is going to judge her. And it says strong is the Lord Yahshua that judges her. Strong. And it says, Baba Kishah, more than she should be utterly burned with fire. Right? For strong is the Lord Yahshua that judges her. And the kings of the earth 
key thing. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously shall what be well her and lament her, right? When they see the smoke of her burning, they're going to be crying all these other nations because they make money. They make a lot of money of her. So they're going to be looking from afar what the smoke of Babylon, standing afar, standing afar off for the fear of her torment. So yeah, the nations are going to be standing very, very far off, looking at that torment of America. And it says, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, right? That mighty city, if in one hour, it's like judgment comes. So in one hour, America's gone completely, what, a fiery furnace. Just like that movie Terminator, the end of it, that end scene. That's what it's going to be, right? Yeah, you're still useless. Your occult members are still useless. And it says, Brother Kishore, and one hour thy judgment has come, right? And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. No more merchandise. No man. So this shows you America has a lot of merchandise. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, the merchandise of gold and of silver and of precious stones and of pearls and fine linen, purple silk, right? And scarlet and tying wood. So America is rich in all those things, right? And it says, and all manner of vessels of ivory, and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and brass, and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil, fine flour, wheat, bees, sheep, horses, chariots, slaves, and the souls of men. So America has all, the, and it says the souls of men as well. So America is rich in delicacies, right? Verse 14, and the fruits that they're so lusted after are departed from thee. So all these things they lusted up, it's going to depart. Everything, right? And all the things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. Thou shalt find them no more at all. So all these big apartments, these big houses, all that in America, all that's going to go. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment. So all these nations are going to be standing afar off, dreading the fear of her torment. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, weeping and wailing. So they're going to be weeping and wailing for America, crying out and saying, Alas, alas. For that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. So why was it decked in scarlet? Because scarlet is the color of what sorcery? That's why it was decked in what scarlet? Scarlet is the what color of sorcery. A lot of witches and warlocks like to use what? Wear the color scarlet. Okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, Revelation 18. And for in one hour, 17, for in one hour, it's so great riches come to naught. One hour, all those riches, all those buildings are going to come to naught. One hour. And this is what we're waiting for. And it says, Baba Kisha, and every shipmaster, and all the company in ships, and sailors, right? And the company in ships, right? There's a Benjamin, that's Benjamin. And it says, Baba Kisha, and sailors, right? And as many as trade by sea, that's Benjamin. And trade by sea stood up far off, and cried when he saw the smoke. Of a burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? So, America is known as a great city, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and they cast dust upon their heads. 
And it says, and they cried weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, right? That great city, Marin, were made great by all rich that had ships, right? In the sea, by reason of her costliness, for in one hour she made desolate, rejoice over her, though heaven, ye holy apostles, and ye prophets, for the Most High have avenged you on her. So this is what we're waiting for, Babylon to be destroyed, right? And the spirits are turning up. So I bro, I don't really like teaching in this location, right? Once I, once I brush the dust off my feet, bro, a lot of judgment's gonna happen in this particular region. But the Lord still wants me here to pronounce that judgment. Verse 21, and a mighty angel, right? Took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down so it's going to be thrown down right it shall no more be found at all the voice of the harpers the musicians and of the pipers and the trumpeters right shall no more be heard at thee and all, okay? And no more craftsmen, and whatsoever of craft he be shall no more be found, any more indeed. The sound of the millstone, right? Shall be heard no more at all indeed. And the light of the candle shall no more shine no more at all indeed, right? The voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall no more be heard no more at all indeed. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were the nations deceived. So, most of these nations are deceived by what the sorceries. Most of these people are deceived. And were the nations deceived. And in her was the found the blood of the prophets. And of the saints. And of all those that were slain upon the earth. So the blood of the prophets and the saints were found within what? America. Right? And after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and honor and power. And unto the Lord our power. For true are thy are his judgments. And for he judged the whore. So this whore is going to be judged. Which did corrupt the earth with her fornication. And have avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alula. And her smoke arose up forever. And the four and twenty elders and four beasts fell down and worshipped the power that sat upon the throne, saying, Amen. Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise. Right? And unto our power in these servants. And ye that hear him and fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it was the voice of a great multitude, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of many thunderings, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord power omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready, and to her was granted that she be arrayed in fine linen, and clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints this re represents the purity of the elect that's that fine linen it's the purity of the elect and if these people are pure they're not going to be getting involved in human trafficking because they're pure and if you're coming up here with evil intentions or wickedness it's better you just return back because the Lord is dealing with the sincere He's dealing with those that are sincere and, and that have a contract heart. But you don't, you don't, you I'm said, talking to the elect. You know what you said? There's someone in there that sounds like they're getting human traffic in my mm -hmm. marketplace. And I've called the police so many times. Yeah. Everyone come, can you come? 
Actually, so I'm gonna get in human trafficking. But what? That's not me. That's not. That's not for me to do. I can't do nothing about that. Can you come? Please? Someone's getting human trafficked in your place. Look, there's a secret. There's well, secret. you 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 deal with the police about that. I'm here to teach the word, sister. I've called the police twice. But I can't, I'm teaching, I can't teach you. What, what do you mean why am I smiling? I can't do nothing about that. I can't do nothing about that. So it's not real? What do you mean it's not real? Listen, listen, listen. So you've been, you've been okay. up here several times and you know what I'm teaching. So this whole thing about trafficking, I teach about that all the time. If someone's in your apartment or your flat and they're trafficking, that's, I don't know, you deal with that. That's not, that's not, that's not to do with me. You deal with it. You want to call the police, you call the police on them if it's that much of a problem. I can't just get up, go to your flat and stop teaching. I have to teach the words and stuff. Right? Right? Why, what made you say you were trying to... Bro, I said that long time ago. Why are you smiling? Really, what what do you mean about my smile? Does it look like I'm smiling? Am I getting framed? Right? Huh? Listen, okay. listen, sister. I ain't got time for foolishness. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Let me show you my time. I ain't got time for foolishness because, you know, I'm going to be real. Remember a lot of these people, what they're doing? I've seen you walk up and down with these people as well. I've seen you when I first came in. Yeah. That side, and I've seen you on that side. I ain't got no time for games. This is serious business. You either gonna repent I'm gonna show you the text message. or not. I'm gonna show you the text. No, no, you know what? I don't even wanna see the message because I'm out here to teach this word. And I'm bidding those to the marriage. And those that have ears to hear are gonna hear. And I'm not gonna be here this The person I told is a rap. And I'm, pardon? They're not a man. All right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know. Okay. Awesome. But you know what? His name awesome. ain't Yahweh. He's not. His name ain't Yahweh. His name is Yahweh Shai. No. His name. And I've told you the name. That's why, sister, you're not Yahweh. being. That's why you're not being sincere. You, Yahweh. you came up there many times. Yahweh. I've told you. It's, it's Yahweh Shai. It was Yahweh. It's Yahweh Shai. You I'm can't not going to go back and you, forth. I'm, I'm part Jewish. You can't change right. the Torah. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I've said you've been up here before. And now I've told you, so now it's on you to repent. Oh, that's good. That's what I'm asking. Right? I want to continue teaching this word. Right? There's a lot of seducing spirits out here. That's why we need to be aware. And that's why the scriptures test the spirits by the spirits. Because there are many false prophets that have gone out here into the earth. That's why you have to test the spirits by the spirits. You see? Not, every, not everyone is on your behalf. Well, she's came up here several times. I've told her to repent and so forth. But she still wants to smoke weed and she's walking up and down with these people as well. I ain't got time for no foolishness. Right? About why am I smiling? The foolishness, man. So we went to that. Now I want to go into Timothy's. Brothers, seducing spirits are at large, heavy. And it's seducing spirits trying to allure you back into the ways that I want to go into this before I shut off. Right, this is this thing's getting heavy. Right? This thing is getting heavy about who am I talking to? I'm talking to whoever has an ear to listen. Yeah, trafficking, I've done, told you about that already. I've done told you what these people are doing, right? But it just gets swept under the carpet, okay? Let's go to Timothy's, something I really wanna bring out. Unbelievable. Bro, she's been up here several times, right? That's why, brothers, you have to have discernment and only Yahweh can teach you the sermon, you know? Oh, it's getting real out here, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, there's, spirit, there's a lot of spirits at large, right? I want to go to Timothy's and I want to go to John. Let's go to John. Come in with that fool. I ain't got time for games. I ain't got time for games. Right? I'm taking it seriously. This is first John. Fourth chapter, right? But love, believe not every spirit. So you can't believe every single spirit. Don't be so gullible. People are too gullible, man. Believe in every little spirit, right? But love, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. So you need to try the spirits first. Why? Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Many, many. So there's many false prophets, right? With their false ideologies. Many false prophets have gone out into the world. That's why you need to try the spirit, right? There's many different spirits out here, right? Especially when you go into particular towns, there's different spirits. So you have to try them, okay? And it says, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Well, how would you know someone's a false prophet? Because they're not speaking the words of Yahweh Shai. They're speaking lies. 
That's what makes one a false prophet. One that speaks lies. Okay? And it says, one, one, one that's not speaking the holy scriptures, that's twisting it to fit their own means. Right? And it says, hereby you know the spirit of the heavenly father. Every spirit that confesses that you have a shy is come in the flesh, is of the heavenly father. So you've got to acknowledge that you have a shy is come in the flesh. That's of the heavenly father. Right? You have to believe in that record, which is important. She's talking about Yahweh, Yahweh and all that. What, what, what's she talking about? Right? And it says, it's come in the flesh, it's of the heavenly father. And every spirit that confesses, not that Yahweh has come in the flesh, is not of the heavenly father. So you've got to believe in the record of Yahweh and his son. You have to believe in that record. Right? And this is the spirit, right? Every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh has come in the flesh is the spirit of the Antichrist. So you've got many that don't believe in that Yahweh shall come in the flesh. That would mean you have many Antichrist spirits walking around. Because they don't believe that Yahweh shall came in the flesh. So you have to believe in that record. He came in the flesh and he came in the spirit. Okay? And it says, and even now already it is in the world. So that Antichrist spirit is already in the world. You met people walking past you, they're in the Antichrist spirit. Right? That's in the world now. Okay? There's many Antichrists, not one. Because they teach you, oh, there's one Antichrist with a picture. There's many. Okay? Anyone that's outside of these, they're Antichrist. That's why the scripture says, try the spirit. See, these people are panicking. <laughs> you see, Satan's panicking, man. Okay? And that's good. That means you're doing something right. Right? If Satan ain't panicking, then you're, you're definitely doing something wrong. Right? So there's many antichrists. Year of the Heavenly Father, Three from Palestine. Ah, uh, Palestine. Palestine? Right. Well, Palestine or Philistine. Philistine. Right? The real Philistines are dark, two and dark. You're not Palestine. You're Ishmael. Ishmael. You're Ishmael in the Bible. So called Arabs. And it says, Baba Kisha, check this out. Ray of the, hold on. Year of the Heavenly Father, little children. I have overcome Rem. So the scripture says, we've already overcame. Because greater is he that is in you. Hey, great is us. Great is he that is in us. Who's that? Yahweh Shai. Greater is he that is in us. Yahweh Shai. Come on. And it says, when he that is in the world. Right? Come on. So we've already overcame this world. Hey, that's high levels of faith. We've already overcame this world. Because it's as great as he that is in us. Right? So that means we've already overcame. This thing just needs to be played out in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Right? We are of the Heavenly Father. They are of the world. They're still of the world. Right? Therefore speak. They are of the world. And the world heareth them. Why? Because they have a friendly type message that caters to the world. So therefore, this world has, hears what they have to say. Our message is catered to the world. Our message is catered to the elect. That's who it's catered to. It didn't come for the whole bloody world. Excuse my language. Okay? And it says, see, I'm getting, I'm getting boosted up in the spirit now. We are of the Heavenly Father. He that knoweth the Heavenly Father heareth us. And he that is not of the Heavenly Father heareth not us. So we're not here to hold your hands. He that hears the Heavenly Father, hears us. And he that does not hear the Heavenly Father, does not hear you. It's simple as that. Okay? And it says, hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So the spirit of truth is the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And you have that spirit of error as well, which is of the Antichrist. Okay, come on now. So we went to that Baba Kishar. Now I want to go to Timothy's. 
There's many different spirits out here. That's why you want to make sure you're in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Okay? And it says Baba Kishat, Baba Kishat. Timothy's. This is Timothy's, chapter 4. Let's, let's slow this down. Now the Spirit speaking expressly. The Spirit, so Paul was trying to warn people of what was going on in these last days. The Spirit speaking expressly. But in a lot of times, some try to depart from the faith, so you're going to have some that were going to depart from this truth, man, in the last days. And this is why we have to be firm. There's many seducing spirits out here with many different um, philosophies, right? Which I've done lessons on this. Um, the New Age, right? The New Age agenda, right? And this is something that's heavily being pushed. This is heavily being pushed in the churches, right? New Age, right? Um, Buddhism, um, what's it? Sikhism, whatever you call it. Hinduism, Sikhism, Christianity, Islam. Thus, that is all a part of the new age. That's all a part of the new age. Right? And it says Baba Kisha. But in a lot of times, some try to depart. And you know what? You know what I've realized? You know what I'm teaching? It takes me some time to get warmed up. It, really, it takes me time. It, like, it takes me, sometimes it takes me 30 minutes, but then you start getting in the spirit. Right? And it says, some shall depart from the faith. So we were warned, some are going to depart in these last days from this faith teaching different doctrines, teaching different philosophies. Scriptures warn us of this, okay? That's why we've got to be careful what you're listening to, what you're hearing, right? Giving heed to seducing spirits. So we don't want to be giving heed to seducing spirits. And seducing spirits are spirits that are sent. They're sent to allow you. That's what these seducing spirits are sent to do, to allow you back into sin. That's why it's called seducing. What does seduce mean? To allure. It's a, when I studied it, it said trap, it said rover. It said a misguiding spirit. So a seducing spirit is a misguiding spirit to guide you in the way of error. Okay? And it says seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's what it says. Doctrines of devils. So, What's them doctrines of devils? Them doctrines of devils is what? New Age, Buddhism, Sikhism, Hinduism, Sevastonianism, Voodoo, all these practices. That's not of the Lord, that's of Satan. So there's gonna be seducing spirits that try to what? Get you out of this truth, okay? And doctrines of devils. Right? Doctrines of devils. So what's the doctrine of the devils? Right? He came for everybody. Right? The Lord came for everyone. Right? Doctrine of a devil. Flat earth. Doctrine of devil. Universalism. Doctrine of devil. Right? Um, Buddhism. Doctrine of devil. Right? We can all come together. Doctrine of devil. These are all doctrines of devils, okay? So that's why we've got to be more aware of what's going on and don't get caught up, okay? Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having a conscience shared with a hot iron. So that means nothing can get in, nothing can get out. Once your conscience is said, nothing can get in, nothing can get out, right? So you have those that teach away with doctrine and they don't want to budge. That's why you have to stay within this truth and don't be swayed. And these are evil spirits. When you look it up, when it's the doctrines of devils, it said evil spirits. That's what it said. So there's evil spirits that has, that have, has an influence on people to have them corrupt in the doctrine. And these are very powerful spirits that try to lead you into sin. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, forbidding to marry and commanded to abstain from meat. Okay? So this is what these spirits are doing. They're forbidding you to marry and abstain from meat. Which meat is lawful, because you need meat for the Passover. And it's lawful to eat meat according to the law. 
and commanded to abstain from meats which the Heavenly Father have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. So we can eat meat, we can eat fish, but lawful meat. So we went to that now, Baba Kisha. I want to jump on down at verse 7. But refuse profane and old wise fables. So we're supposed to be refusing them. Old fables, right? In other words, Christmas, right? Father Christmas, fairy tales. We're not supposed to be taking on these fables because that's idols. Refuse fables. This story, a fable is a story that's made up. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people believe in the Norse kings, you know. Oh, four, you know. These, these are idols. These things are not true. And exercise thyself rather to, un to godliness. That's what we want to be exercising. Exercise godliness. Okay. That's what we want to be exercising. So we went to that. Now I want to go to something else. Okay, bear me just a minute. This is Ephesians 3 and 14. Wrap me heads forth, be no more children. Right? Because children believe in anything. Toss and throw. So you're tossed and throw with the wind. You don't know where you're going. Toss and throw. And it says, and carry about with every wind of doctrine. That's why you need to be rooted within this truth. You can't be reading the book of, what's it, the book of, um, the book of Degas, the book of the dead, the 48 laws of Ma'at, then trying to get into the truth. Because then you're going to be confused. That's a conflict, that's demons that are working upon your mind. There's one book, and one book we're supposed to read from. And that's the Holy Bible. Okay? And it says, what are these people doing? They're just trying to distract me, that's what they're trying to do. And it says, of, um, Ephesians 3 with every wind carried about with every wind so we don't want to be carried about with every single wind and the wind of doctrine so there's different doctrines out here and if you're not careful you can get caught out if you're not careful these are evil spirits that work on the mind of people right that's why it's called doctrines of devils man doctrines of devils so be careful what philosophies you're getting into, right? There's only one true book, and that's the Bible, right? See, there's still one. All right, let's continue. I must be really powerful. I must be really powerful for this much people to come up against me, like, for real, right? And it says, Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar. Ephesians, and 3 and 14. Well, thank you. Yeah, amen, right? Can I get an amen? And it says, well, yeah. check this out. And carried about with wind and tossed with every doctrine by slight of men, which is what deceit. And cunning craftiness, cunning. So our people get took in by these philosophies by cunning craftiness. It's ever so cunning, ever so cunning, ever so crafty, right? There's one book where we should be reading. That's, that's the book of the Lord, Jehovah Shine. Shouldn't be getting into these other books. You shouldn't be getting into the Quran. You shouldn't be getting into that. You shouldn't be getting into the, the, the 48 laws of power, which is new ageism. You shouldn't be getting into those books. You shouldn't be getting into the book of the dead. One book, and the book is the Holy Scriptures. That's what you should be seeking out of. The Holy Bible. Not these other books. You shouldn't be going into voodoo, Santa Maria, because that's unclean spirits, right? So one book, and that's the Holy Scriptures. Come on. Woo! Let's go. Ephesians. Sometimes you have to boost yourself up as well. This Ephesians. And jump straight to verse 14. And cunning craftiness in that they lay wait to deceive. So you have many deceivers out here. Lying in wait. That's why your minds have to be fortified through these scriptures. You have to be, um, you have to be, what's the word? Rooted. If you're not rooted within this truth, Anyone can bring you any type of philosophy and you end up holding on to that and you end up bugging out. I've seen it. No matter how strong you are, doesn't matter how strong you are in this faith. 
If you're not rooted, these seducing spirits will take you out of the truth. I'm dealing with that right now. So I hope brothers are praying for me because I'm praying for you. These seducing spirits are very, very strong. Okay? And it says, but speaking truth in love. So let's continue to speak the truth in love. And it says, Baba Kisha, may drop in Mashiach in all things, which is the head, even Mashiach, from who the whole body fit me together, joint, right, and compacted, okay, by which every joint supply it, according to the effectual working in measure of every part, make if the increase. Okay, and it says the body and to edification, right? So we're supposed to be speaking the truth in love to the body, to the edification. Okay, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so that's why you got to be, you got to be circumspect out here, and your mind has to be fortified, man. I want to look for that scripture as well. Go to Proverbs. It's so easy because you could be watching, right? You could be watching YouTube and there's so many different philosophies and videos, Anunnaki, right? The fallen angels. There's so many different philosophies. It's so easy for you to fall prey and just watch a video and you believe them. Okay? Let me just fly. I'm just flying with the spirit. See what else I can find. Right? Just flow with the spirit. Right? That's what we need to do. Okay? Come on now. Um, I can't find the scripture, but it says, He that have no rule of his spirit is like a city without walls. So anyone can get in. If you don't have that foundation, anyone can get in. Any madness can get in. He that have no rule of his spirit is like a city that is without walls. Any madness can get in. That's why fortified, found, found, grounded upon Yahweh Shai. Drowned upon this word. You have to be grounded. You have to be firm. You have to be stubborn when it comes to different doctrines. Right? Even when you're watching these different videos, different camps. Because these different camps teach different things. Right? I'm just thinking about what scriptures I can get for this. All these different camps teach different things. Go to Isaiah 30. And hold on just a minute. Yeah, the doctrine is important. This is Isaiah 30. And it says, Baba Kisha, woe to the rebellious children. Right? Serve the Lord that take counsel. So a lot of our people, they're taking counsel. But not of me. So they're taking the wrong counsel. When our counsel should be of Yahweh Shai. Right? We've got to be taking that right counsel, which is of Yahweh Shai. Not counsel of, you know, different philosophies. But not of me. So if you're not taking the counsel of Yahweh Shai, and that cover with a covering. So these people are covered with a covering, but not of my spirit. Right? But they may add sin to sin. So if you're not covered by Yahweh Shai's spirit, that means you're covered by demons. If you're not covered by the spirit of Yahweh Shai, that means you're covered by demons. See, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no half, there's no in between with this truth. You're either covered by the spirit of the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shai, or you're covered by demons. There's not no two ways. You can't serve two masters, or you will hate one and love the other, right? And it says that they may add sin to sin. So when you're in these different philosophies, you're adding sin unto sin. So now, let's go to Romans, Baruch Hashem. Right, there's so much scriptures on this. Actually, go to John. Go to John 6. And go to John 7, Baruch Hashem. Go to John 7 and 14. Now, about the midst of the feast, Yahweh Shai went up into the temple and taught. Right? You've got these people running to their handlings. And taught. See, this is how society is. Bro, when you wake up to the truth, you're able to see everything. Right? 
And it says, now about the midst of the feast, Yahushua went up into the temple, right? And taught, okay? As we do. And the Jews marveled, saying, how long have this man let us? Having never learned, how did this man, how did he know all this? Having never really learned, he's not really experienced, right? Yahushua asked them and said, my doctrine, is not mine, but his that sent me, right? My doctrine is not mine, but it's his that sent me. So Yahushua was saying, it's not, it's not mine, it's the heavenly fathers, okay? It's not something we just made up. Now the Pharisees, they had a doctrine, but it was the doctrine of men, okay? And it says, I haven't ever learned. Yahushua answered them and said, my doctrine, is not mine, but his that sent me. So it was whose? The Heavenly Father's doctrine. It's not a doctrine that we just make up, right? Yahushua answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man would do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. So you want to be doing Yahushua's will. And if you're doing his will, you were going to know of his doctrine. If any man do with his will, not their own will, you would know of the doctrine. So if you're doing your Yahushua's will, you were going to know of that doctrine. Okay? And it says, Baba Kishah, whether it be of the Heavenly Father, or I speak of myself. So we went to that Baba Kishah. Now let's go to Romans 6 or 12. Yeah, you gotta be stubborn when it comes to these false doctrines out here, I'm telling you. So let's go to Romans and see if I can find it. This is Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. So we're supposed to be marking them that are causing divisions, right? How are they causing divisions? By their way with doctrines. Mark them, right? Which cause divisions within the doctrine. And offenses contrary to the doctrine. So, what are them offences contrary to the doctrine? Wayward teachings. Okay. Oh, they're all black. No, we're not all black. Right? That's a false doctrine. He came for everyone. That's a false doctrine. Mark them. So, when you go into that word mark, mark means scope pale. So, we're supposed to scope them out. Mark them that are teaching false doctrines. Okay? And it says, and offences contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them so the scripture says avoid them as well okay for they serve not our lord Jehovah Shai and Mashiach they're not serving Jehovah Shai right but their own belly so you have those that are basically they're serving their own belly let me check the time right so basically you have those that are serving their own belly, their own lust, their own flesh, okay? And it says, and by good words and fair speeches. So in other words, they got the gift of the gap, right? By good words and fair speeches, they, did, they, what, they deceived the hearts of the simple. So many people get deceived by what? Good words and fair speeches. So that's how you can become deceived. In other words, they have what? The gift of the gap. That's why the scriptures try the spirits by the spirits. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Right? Don't just take our words for it. You have to study. You have to look things up for yourself. Okay? And it says, and by fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple 
right? Got something. Go to Matthew 24. That's why this is spiritual. Matthew 24. And jump straight to verse 23. If any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Mashiach. Or there. Believe it not. In other words, don't believe it. Because you're going to have that going on. Right? You're going to have many false prophets. Many false pastors. Deceiving you. Saying, go there. Go here. But guess what? He's not there. And shall show great signs and wonders. So the pastors within your churches, they're showing you great signs. They're showing you great wonders. How? By the spirit of devils which is mentioned in Revelation somewhere. That's how they're doing these signs. That's how they're doing that's how your pastors are doing these wonders and great signs. It's through the left hand side. Right? Just how these how these witches are able to manipulate the people. That's through great signs and lying wonders. Right? You have the witches and warlocks that walk past, get on their phone. That's what lying signs and wonders. It's technology. You got these people on their headsets messaging each other. That's lying signs and wonders. Right? But that's on the left hand side. That's evil spirits. You see, that's why you've got to know what you're getting into. And it says, and wonders. In so much, if it were possible, if it were possible, listen. They shall deceive the very elect. So, what they're trying to do is deceive the elect. That's who they're trying to deceive. If it were possible. But guess what I've got news for you? It's not possible to deceive the very elect. It's not possible. Now, you can manipulate certain things around us, but they cannot deceive the elect. They can't. They can manipulate surroundings, people, but they will not deceive the elect. So that's who it's really catered to. Right? This is heavy. Bear me just a minute. Um, if it were possible, they should very deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you. Wherefore, if they say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Right? Go not forth. In other words, don't go. So if you have these false pastors saying, The Messiah, he's in the desert. He's don't go there. Oh, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, which represents Yahavashai, and shineth unto the west, so shall the cometh of the Son of Man be. So that's how Yahavashai just going to come back from the east to the west for deliverance. And it says, Baba Kishak, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, so the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken, which are who? Esau and his armies, right? And then shall appear the son of the sign of man in heaven, and where shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Now all the tribes of the earth shall mourn. Hey, this is a, hey, this is a nice looking dog. Yeah. <laughs> nice looking dog. And it says, Baba Kisha, this is Matthew 24. And we're on verse 29, 30. And then shall appear the sign of the sign of man in heaven. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven. The son of man. Right? And the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Okay, so that's Esau and his armies. The powers of heaven are going to be shaken up. Okay, and it says, Baba Kesha, Baba Kesha. And then shall appear the sun, sign of the Son of Man in heaven, which is Yahweh who we're waiting for. And then shall 
he see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven and the power, the great power. So that represents who? Yahweh Shai and them angels. And it says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect. So this is what we're waiting for, to be beamed up in them chariots and gathered up by Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. From the four winds of the end of heaven to the others, because all our people are scattered. It mentions that in Revelation 7 and 7. And now learn the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender, he put it forth. Leaves, you know that summer is night. So likewise, when you should see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. What? Salvation. When you shall see all these things, blood moons, earthquakes, pestilence, wars, volcanoes, rioting, you know that the end is near when you see these things. Okay? And it says, so likewise, you shall, when you shall see all these things, know it is even at the doors. It's close. It's not far off. Okay? Verily I say unto you, this generation, right, shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. So this is the same generation that was there about 2,000 years ago, because it said it shall not pass till all things be fulfilled, right? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So when it's thinking about heaven and earth, this means like this rulership, it's going to pass away. But my words shall not pass away because these words are eternal and we're going to back that up as well not all the earth is going to be destroyed just certain parts now let's go to Ecclesiastes bear just a minute Ecclesiastes 1 and 4 one generation passeth away and another generation right coming but the earth abideth forever. So the earth is here forever. You're just going to have certain parts of the earth that are going to be here. That's all. Right? So that's how it's going to go down. Right? But not all the earth is going to be destroyed. Okay? And how can we back that? Go to Second Peter's. Come on. Flow with the Spirit. Second Peter's 3. And seven, go to verse six, whereby the world that then was being overflowed, right? With water, perished. But the heavens and earth, which are now, by the same word are kept in store. This rulership that we're in now, right? Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. Right? Which would be what America. And perdition of ungodly men. So this particular empire we're living in is being reserved for judgment to ungodly men. Right? And the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But love, be not ignorant of this one thing. But one day with the Lord, I was shy. This is a thousand years, so it's just like yesterday. And a thousand days, so like a thousand years is one day. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, right? As some men count slackness. But is long suffering. The Lord is very long suffering, right? To us with not willing that any should perish, okay? But all should come to repentance. So he doesn't want any of our people to perish, but come to repentance. Okay? And it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right? In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Right? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. This is like that nuclear destruction. So that's what's going to happen. The elements, which what you see, is going to melt with fervent heat. 
All this construction work, that's all going to melt with fervent heat. All that contracting you're doing, it's going to melt with fervent heat. And it says, Baba Kasha, and the element shall melt with fervent heat. That's intense heat. Right? And the earth and the works, that, what's the works? The things that are in the earth, right? That are there and shall be burned up. So that's what's going to happen via nuclear war. That's what's going to happen, right? And our whole thing is to get right before these things happen, okay? And it says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. So you know these things are going to be dissolved, perish. What manner, key thing, what manner, right, of persons are you ought to be in all holy conversation, right, and godliness. So what, what, what's our manner supposed to be? What's our conduct? Knowing that all these things are going to perish completely. What's our conduct supposed to be? It's supposed to be in godliness, okay? When the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, what manner of conversation are you supposed to be in? So our conversation is supposed to be holy, godly, right? Looking for a hasting unto the coming of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Okay? When the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So if people really knew what was going to happen, there'd be thousands of people up here taking heed to what's being said. It should, it shall melt with fervent heat. That's intense heat. If you knew that, you'd be up here listening. If you actually knew what was going to happen. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth. That's what we're looking for. A new heavens and a new earth, okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, wherein dwelleth righteousness, okay? Key thing, wherein dwelleth righteousness. So that's what we're waiting for. That's what we're looking for. Where righteousness is gonna be established upon earth. The elect ain't gonna bail out. The elect ain't gonna, they ain't gonna give in. They ain't gonna sell out. They're going, to, they're going to hold on to their integrity. They ain't going to sell out to say it. Nevertheless, we are going to from look for a new heavens and a new earth. So that's what we're waiting for. Waiting for a new heavens, new earth. Where righteousness will be established. Okay? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent. So we have to remain diligent within this truth. Right? But you may be found out of him in peace. Aye, that's why we got to be diligent pushing this truth as well. Remain diligent. Remain fervent within this faith. And Lord, this is all going to pay off. Or everything we're doing, it's going to pay off. Right? And be found in him in peace without spot. So we want to be found without spot. Okay? So we went to that Baba Kasha. All right. Let's go to Revelation 21. Okay. And it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. This is what John the Revelator saw. A new heaven and a new earth. Okay. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. First heaven, first earth. In terms of what you see now, right? Remember, all this is vanity. All this, what was it, is vanity. That's what you've got to realize. This is what John the Revelator saw. A new heaven, hold on. All right, 1144, that's spiritual. That's a spiritual man. That's what he saw. New heaven, new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. No more. And I joined to the holy city, New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. And the city was speaking of what? The city was speaking of the people. Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. 
right? And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the heavenly father out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Adorned, coming out of heaven. So this was, this was not an actual city, it was a people, okay? And it says, Baba Kishar, out of heaven. And it says, prepared as a bride or dog for her husband. This represents the elect that are going to come down out of them chariots and be reigning. They're going to be the first to reign with the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. Those that stood firm, they're going to be the first ones. As it mentions in Thessalonians, but death in Yahweh Shai shall what? Rise first. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the heavenly Father is with men, right, the dwelling place. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the power himself shall be with them, and be their power, okay? And the Most High shall wipe away all tears. So that's what's going to happen in the kingdom, right? From their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Hey, no more death at all. Okay? Neither sorrow. Okay? Neither any more pain. So everything's going to be completely what? Refreshed. Right? For the former things are passed away. The former things are the things now. The things that you see now. They're going to be the former things. Okay? And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. All things. So all things are going to be made new. Everything. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. Everything is going to be made new. All this is going to perish. Right? This is going to be a distant, all this is going to be a distant memory. Right? Now let's go to Isaiah 66. I'm just playing with the spirit. Isaiah 66. Alright. Isaiah. 60. Hold on. 66. Isaiah 65. Uh, let's see if I can find it. One thing at a time. Here we go, this is Isaiah 65, right? And jump straight to verse 11. But ye are they that forsake, right? My holy mountain of the Lord, and forgot my holy mountain, and prepare a table for the truth, and furnish a drink, offering of that number. Wherefore will I number you to the sword? So a lot of people are going to be numbered to the sword. And you shall bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes. And did not choose wherein I delighted not. Therefore, doth said the Lord Jehovah Shai, Power, behold, my servant shall eat. Ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. And ye shall be thirsty. So while we're eating and drinking, you're going to be thirsty. Okay, and it says, Behold, all my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So guess what? We're going to be fed. We're going to eat. When all hell breaks loose, when all calamity breaks loose, he says, my servants are going to eat. You're not going to need to worry about them. Where are you going to get your next meal? And it says, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. And you shall howl for vexation of spirit. So you're going to have a lot of our enemies that are going to be howling for vexation of spirit because they've never done the right thing. And you shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for the Lord power shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. So this is basically breaking it down how the kingdom 
It's going to be ushered in. Okay? In real time. A few more scriptures. Then we shut off. Hold on just a minute. I ain't done yet. Um, go to Jeremiah 33 and 15. In those days and at that time, when I caused the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment, right? And righteousness in the land, okay? In those days shall Judah be saved and Jerusalem shall dwell in safely, right? And this is the name of that shall be called. But Lord, Jehovah shall our righteousness, right? Thus saith the Lord, Jehovah shy shall never want a man to sit on the throne of the house of Israel. John verse 20. Thus saith the Lord, Jehovah shy if you can break my covenant of the day, and my covenant of the night. But there shall not be day nor night in their season. There may also my covenant be broken with David my servant, that he should not have a son or to reign upon his throne. And with the Levites, the priests, right? My ministers. Okay, come on. And it says, as the host of heaven could not be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so I will multiply the seed of David, my servant. So we've got a lot to look forward to. We have the kingdom, man. We have the kingdom to look forward to, so please just stay fast, stay strong, stay rooted, right? And don't give in to the hive mind mentality. What everybody else is doing, every, everybody else thinks they're cool. You know, they got their little group or whatever. Don't give in to that. You know, stay firm in this truth, right? And you will be blessed. Okay, we're gonna shut off soon. Um, see what else I can find. Oh, Philippians, Philippians, Philippians. Yeah, hey, Paul, he counted it all loss to gain the Hawashai in the spirit. So, bro, yeah, there's certain things we're going to lose within this truth. There's certain things we're going to lose to gain. So there's certain things you need to lose to gain in the spirit. Right? You can't gain in the spirit if you're just, you're stuck in the flesh. How are you going to gain in the spirit but you're just, you're stuck in the flesh? Huh? Philippians 3. Okay. And, hold on, check this out. Verse six, concerning zeal, persecuting the church. So that's what he was doing, persecuting the church. Paul, touching the righteousness, which is in the law, blameless, right? But all things were counted gain to me. But what things were gained to me? Those I counted lost for my shock, so, Pay attention. What things were gained to me, I counted loss. So, yeah, the things that were great gain, the opportunities, you, you're supposed to put that aside. You're supposed to put that aside. Everything that was gained, you put that aside. Because we want to gain in the spirit. So you put all those things aside, therefore you gain in the spirit. The flesh, you're losing things, but you gain in the spirit. Okay? So it says, Father Kishar, yeah, doubtless, I count all things, but loss for the excellency, check this out, of the knowledge of Mashiach. Bro, you have to lose things to gain in the spirit, you know? So that's what you do. You don't take, you don't take, sell out, you don't, you don't sell out. That's, that's, the, that's how you really gain. 
even though in the flesh, yeah, certain things you may love doing, some things you have to let go of, but then you, you increase. If you're not willing to let go of these fleshly things, then the Lord can't really increase you on that level. Right? Even though we still have certain things, but if you really want to be, be increased, you have to let go of certain things. Material possessions as well. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, check this out. Um, but for love, for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach, my Lord, for I have suffered the loss of all things. All things. That's what Paul said. Paul wasn't complaining. Oh, I've, lo I've, lo I've lost this job opportunity. I had this job opportunity. Um, I could have been a plumber, fully qualified. I could have been this. Paul wasn't in that spirit. Because we know this is the real treasure. Right? And it says... The loss of all said, I counted it but dung. So Paul said he counted it but shit. Excuse my language. Right? Excuse my language. Paul said, in other words, yeah. Hold on. He counted it as shit. Everything he had gained was nothing. It didn't mean anything. It was rubbish. Just like these people, yeah, they get gift cards, they get cards. But what is that? Because they sell their soul. Right? So you really got to think carefully when you're serving the Lord. Right? Who, who do you really want to serve? Because hmm? let me tell you, these people ain't happy. They're miserable. Even though they may have smiles on their faces like that, no, they're not. Because they have to be told what to do by somebody, else, which nothing's wrong with that, obviously. Because we all get told what to do, but I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about literally told what to do. Where to go, what to put on, you know, how to dress, who to meet. Bro, that's what happens when you take a deal with the enemy. That's what happens, right? And you don't want to be that way, you don't want to be that way. And that's why I always bring up Matthew's 4, that temptation. What did Yahweh do when he was being tempted? What did he say? Right? He said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord Yahweh thy power like you did in Massa. Right? Get behind thee, Satan. That's what that's what Yahushua said. So when we get tempted, that's how you approach the scriptures. Right? You should not tempt the Lord Yahweh thy power. Get behind thee, Satan. That's how we deal with temptations. Simple as that. It's not difficult. We need to apply this word to the best of our ability. And as long as you're applying this word, you're good. Right? Satan really wants, he's really looking to shift the elect. So, um, spare me just a minute. Go to Hebrews 11 and 12. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with a so great cloud of witnesses, which is who? Right? The angels, right? It says, let us now say every weight, okay, which is sin. And the sin which doth easily beset us. So we're easily beset by sin. Okay? Which doth easily beset us. And let us run. So this is a, it's still a race. Let us run with patience. Right? So we've got to run with patience. The race that is set before us. Okay? So this is not a marathon. Verse 2. Looking for... Look it on to Yahweh Shai, the author and the what the finisher of our faith. So yeah, Yahweh Shai is the author, the beginning and the ending of our faith. Okay. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. See, Yahweh Shai was enduring. He enjoyed that cross, man. He enjoyed that persecution. And Yahweh was perfect. He had to go through all of that. Can you imagine that? Right? Despising shame. Right? Despising shame. Right? And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of the Heavenly Father, the Messiah. Despising that shame. Right? 
sit at the right hand side of the Heavenly Father now. That's what we have, that's what we have to do. For consider him that endured such contradiction. Check this out. Endured such contradiction of sinners. Right? So you got a picture that as well. You're teaching this truth, right? And you're perfected in Yahweh Shai, and you're enduring contradiction of sinners. You have to endure people that are smoking meat, part of the LGBT, accusing you of sin. You have to endure that. You know how much character that takes? That takes great character, man. Right? Endure such contradiction of sinners. You see, this is where you get understanding. Right? Against himself. This it's just a part of the package. This is just what we gotta deal with. Okay? And it says, lest you be wearing in your heart and faint in your mind. Because it's so easy to faint. I say, well, why is this all happening? You have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin, because you're striving against sin. That's why these things are happening. Because you're striving against sin. So because you're striving against sin. These things are going to happen. You're going to have those that strive against you. Okay? And it says, you have forgotten the exhortation. You've forgotten it. Right? And it says, we speak unto you as unto children. Listen, we're going to shut off on this. Right? Despise not the chastening of the Lord, Jehovah Shai. Do not despise that chastening. We're being chastised by the Heavenly Father. Despise not the trusting of the Lord. Okay? And it says, Nor faint when I'm rebuked of Him. So neither faint when you're rebuked of Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. You know? Because that's for our betterment. Okay? And it says, Nor despise the trusting of the Lord. For whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth. So we get chastised because the Lord loves us. Who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, he corrects. Okay? And he scourgeth every son. He loveth. So that's what he does. And he scourgeth. So what, what son are you if, you're, if you're, um, your fathers don't beat you or punish you? You're not much of a son. Right? You're not much of a son. And it says... Or just a minute. Verse 7. If you endure chastening, right? Endure. Alright, bro, it's nearly done. Soon we're gonna be we're gonna be delivered from this from this hellhole. This is like it's like a it's like a bad dream that you want to wake up out of. Soon we're gonna be delivered from it. Right? If you endure chastening, right? The heavenly father dealing with you as sons. So if you could take that correction. The Lord is dealing with you as sons, man. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, for what son is he that the father trusts if not? So what type of son are you? If you ain't being chastised, what type of son are you? That means you're a bastard. That's why you got a lot of bastards walking about because they're not being chastised by their fathers. If you ain't being chastised, that means your father never loved you. And it says, that means you're useless. <laughs> and it says, Baba Kasha, Check this out. But if you be without chastisement, wherefore you partake as you are bastards, fathers, right? And are not sons, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, furthermore, we have had our fathers of our flesh, okay? Which chastised us, okay? And corrected us. And we gave them reverence. And that's your biological parents. And it says, shall we not much rather be in subjection to the Father of Spirits? So how more are we supposed to be in subjection to the Father of Spirits, the one who controls everything? Hmm? And it says, Baba Kisha, and live. For they bury you after a few days, chasten us after their own pleasure. But he for our profit, but we might be partakers of his holiness, so we also get corrected. 
right? By Yahweh Shai, right? So what's right through trusting him? Okay? What we go through, okay? And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. And it says, no trusting him, right? Actually, go to verse 10. For they verily a few days trust in us after their own pleasure. Right? But it's he for our profit. So the Lord's correcting us for our own profit, for our own good. Right? So we could be deemed acceptable. Hello, yeah? <laughs> so we could be deemed acceptable. Hey, right, some of these Indian women are pretty to us, I'm telling you. And it says, Baba Kishar. And for very a few days, chastise us after their own pleasure. Our parents chastise us after their own pleasure. Even if, the, if, if it was, uh, you know, beatings and all that, they done what they thought was right. And it says, Baba Kishar, but he for our prophet that we might be partakers of his holiness. So, Yahweh is doing it. So we could be partakers of his holiness. All right? And it says, Baba Kishar, bear me just a minute. Now, no chastening. See me, right? To be joyous because you're not going through anything at that time. So it seems to be joyous, it seems to be good, right? But grievous, but it's still grievous, right? And it says, nevertheless, after it yielded the peaceable fruit. So when we get chastised, we're able to yield better fruit. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, of rights unto them that I exercise thereby. So we become more exercised in patience, long suffering, and so forth. Wherefore, lift up the hands that what? Hang down and the feeble knees. Right? And it says, make straight the paths for your feet, lest they be laying the tent out of the way, but rather be healed. Now let's go to Romans. Now let's go to Romans. Bear with me. So yeah, the elect, right, they're getting built up. They're getting built up in the spirit. Right? The elect are getting built up in the spirit. Come on. And it's all working on our behalf as well. Everything we're going through, it's all working on our, our behalf. Okay. Okay, this is Romans chapter 5. Check this out. Therefore, being justified by faith, right, we have peace with the Heavenly Father. Okay, peace through our Lord Jehovah Mashiach. By whom we also have access by faith, we also have access to the heavenly Father through faith into this grace wherein we stand. So we're standing in grace. And rejoice in hope of the glory of the heavenly Father. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations. So the tribulations we go through, we're supposed to be glorified in it, not, not moping and weeping. We glorify in these tribulations, right? We don't call that woe is me spirit, right? We glorify in these tribulations. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. Glorifying in tribulations and sufferings that we go through, okay? And it says, and knowing tribulation work in patience. So the tribulation also works great patience for us, okay? And patience is definitely something we need, especially in these times. Because a lot of people are what, lacking patience. You even see people when they're in the queue. All right there, brother. Yeah, I hope you're reading the good book. All right, all right yeah. And it says, and tribulation work with patience. So the tribulation that we're going through is also bringing forth a great amount of patience. Okay. And it says, Baba Kishore, and patience, experience, 
and experience, because you need experience with anything, more so within this truth, and experience hope. Hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of who? The Heavenly Father is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Right? So, I think we shut off here. Lord willing, this was edifying. Right? A lot got brought out. And until the next time, I want to give all honours and praises and glory and honours belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Bahasham Wahab Akab Kadash. And until the next time, hey, Shalawam to the hopeful elect. Shalawam. And may Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat to you brothers and sisters that are out there striving. Shalawam.